He is probably Silicon Valley's most intoxicating innovator. All of our heroes, not just now, but through the art of history, are innovators, aren't they? If we had to compare him to somebody, I definitely would compare him to Steve Jobs. Uh, Richard Branson. Uh, maybe Mick Jagger. I think Elon Musk. Definitely like the Dalai Lama. Technology. Design. Diagrams. I don't think we think about anything the same anymore. It's not like I've changed the world. I've changed all the people in the world. This guy's outstanding. He's amazing. He's just humongous. He has saved my life. He's my idol. I have had to learn how to navigate a new reality. It's been important to me not to let it change who I am and how I live. There's no need for, you know, more planes in my life or more servants. This is gonna rock the TED conference. We had to be here. It doesn't matter where we came from, we were gonna be here. I saw someone from Fremont, I think up from Walnut Creek. This is really, truly a global event. I was showing up every day to innovate, but the innovations were not there. It's isolating. You know, it's, it's isolating being a guru. You said the next wave of innovative ideas would make no sense. Paradigm shifting, disruptive, game changing, cataclysmic. There's some magic going on, definitely. I won't say that these were really my ideas, my ideas, but. I'm expecting um, just something to change my life. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Michael Furtick. Get to know an expert in your chosen field and ignore everything he has to say. You pay your customers to be your customers. If you cannot find a problem, create a problem. Does that sound like a terrible idea that could not possibly work? You bet it does. Welcome to the world of CI.